Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm working on my uh, Hewlett Packard storage dash down here but drives are giving me a lot of trouble I found that a lot of them doesn't show up and it seems to be drives that I have been using in um, in a NetApp box down here that is um, not showing up when I put them in so I'm messing with that right now I have put those some of those drives up here in this awesome Lenovo X uh, let's let's call it IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 1 uh, because it has a really stupid rate controller which is really good for messing with stuff like this yeah right now it's complaining because I took out all the other drives that was in there so let's see let's accept current configuration yes um, hope that it goes into the rate controller so that I can miss it does so yeah and um, the drives that doesn't really want to work is, is kind of these drives most of them has this label here that I forget what I took them out of but it could very well be one of these storage boxes one of those storage boxes was full of two terabyte drives and I do believe that that might be it this is a Seagate one this is also messing up but mostly it is Hitachi drives just like this one and of course this one doesn't have, have a label but yeah uh, most of them the ones that I've put up here has that label and I found that they don't want to work when I take the drives out and go to my computer and connect them I have a little circuit board uh, from an external hard drive if I pop them in there well they it will the computer will see it just fine and everything is all joy and happiness but as soon as they come out here and goes into the box well not as much so I want to check if let's see if we see any of these drives here um, and we do it sees one two three four five six it sees all of the drives um, I have put in one the, the top one here is a one terabyte I wanted to try these are drives that Sasha Lopez from the UK gave me um, 48 of them actually and um, I, I popped in one of those I was curious then we have a I think I have a three terabyte drive here that's a mistake that was not supposed to go in here number three okay we'll take that out might have gone a little bit too fast when I was doing this so let's have this one out uh, this rate controller can on only handle two terabyte hard drives and this is a two terabyte hard drive weird it goes back in then there so I wanted to see if I could do something with these drives maybe do a low level format or something um, I'm gonna never mind the one terabyte just to start with I don't know. Let's see what we can do we can format the disk uh, this takes ages I believe this drive is about to be low level formatted is there anything else we can do yep. initialize drives one two three four five we see five drives in here so one of them is not showing up um, and it sees them in kind of different ways Let's see we are missing number two we have zero and we have one and then number two is missing let's check number two it's that one the one we just had out let's check that it definitely have the size wrong it's kind of weird oh i'm counting them wrong my mistake okay i fucked up i was counting one two three so this would be zero one two and i took that one out i guess but it's zero one two so it's this one my mistake yeah that's that three terabyte drive from a previous video that's not supposed to go in here that actually shows up okay so I'm gonna unscrew and um, put in another one instead okay I fixed that this one is going back into the Hewlett Packard DAS and I marked it with three terabytes so that I don't make that mistake again 
This one is one of the buggy ones, so we're gonna be putting that up here. And I know. And we should be able to go in here again and it should see the right size. Uh, the brake controller in this old server is not able to handle more than two terabyte drives. If I wanted to handle bigger drives than that, I will need to put in a newer rate controller. I have done a video on that way long ago um, and that works. Um, we're not seeing that drive so we might have more than one problem here. Maybe we need to go and... Now it's there, okay. So we have this Seagate drive that we just put in and we have the one terabyte Hitachi and we have four other two terabyte Hitachis. There isn't a lot of options here, but yeah. Initialize some drives, let's just initialize all of them. We are still missing one. Number two is still not showing up here. Do we need to rescan here, rescan drives? Updating drive information, okay, let's see if we can. Do we see them now? Now we see all of them, okay. There, initializing all the drives. Maybe this is enough, I have no idea. Yes, initializing from one to six. And they are blinking happily up here. But I wanna run a low level format on one of them just to see if that helps any. So let's just take that one and format the drive. It's gonna take forever and ever, I'm sure. Are you sure? I am sure it's gonna take forever and ever. And it will do that forever and ever. So I have one of the drives formatting here. I'm trying something new. I'm, I'm, um, I'm slow formatting it. Uh, it has taken forever, 74% slow formatting. Um, I have the most amount of hard drives in the Hewlett Packard storage box to date. If we go over here to the dashboard, we can see that I have 50 drives online right now, which is significant because all of these are two terabyte drives. So I have actually 100 terabytes online on this. Um, they aren't partitioned or anything. They're unconfigured good, all of them. And there is actually this four terabyte uh, which is one of them so there is actually 102 terabytes um, online on the NAS right now. I am having trouble with number 30. That's that three terabyte drive that I put in there. It's not there. Uh, really weird why that doesn't pop up in there at all. So that is mm, yeah I don't know what to call that. If Windows sees it no, these are two terabytes, that's the four terabyte. No, it's not there. There is also this part here. So we can kind of list, list those. Don't see the three terabyte drive there. So yeah, I'm messing around with this. Okay, this drive that I've been slow formatting over here um, has finally completed that only took like four hours it might be slow through the USB 3 connection here but it shouldn't it's not that slow it just takes a while uh, slow formatting that bigger drive I just wanted to copy some data over to it just to have something on there so we're just gonna I'm just gonna copy my temp directory over there just to check that it, uh, it transfers okay it's Move data over there with about 140, 30, 40 megabytes per second, which is pretty good. USB 3, old hard drive. And um, yeah, we're just gonna take the download folder, all this crap as well. Um, copy that. So just, um, just to stress it even so slightly, if it starts to. Um, do stupid stuff with just a few file copies, well, we might have an issue. Copying 
two different folders at the same time is not good for performance it went down quite a bit it's not as if it's just doing half it was doing closer to one third so yeah one folder at a time way better cool so let's uh, detach this uh, very dutchy setup I have here one-handed not that great and we can it's kind of cool that I don't have to take them out of the trays that's uh, that's really a plus so yeah this is just a little circuit board take it out of a USB 3 um, external hard drive box so let's take this and try and put that in the in bay number 30 so here we are again let's um, open it up bay number 30 yeah all the way in here so seven drive in each so 7 14 21 28 29 30 so this is the one that's not showing up and that's that three terabyte drive which is working perfectly because I did test it um, so we are gonna put this in that one is nice and hot so let's see if we get any response. It's doing absolutely diddly squat, which is annoying. I'm gonna take that three terabyte and put it down in one of these bays because number 34 here is not showing up either. Eh, not doing much. So I've been missing with this. I've had it off. I've switched the controllers around in this one. There is two controllers in a storage box like this. When I brought everything back up, I had 45 drives left. Messed around, traded drives. Right now I have 51 drives um, working in it. I still haven't found out what's going on. It's, it feels very random. I'm sure it's not very random. But as long as I haven't found out what's wrong or what's causing this, well, it feels very random. And I have a lot of numbers on my hands of drive, so I'm going to try and swap around. Um, so I've been messing with this for hours and actually this has just completed. So this drive, which I was formatting, this one, number, no, that's number two then. It has completed. So I'm going to try and... Um, and initialize that let's go back array options here initialize drive and we're gonna take that one no drives oh uh, we have to insert and then we can initialize it and yes so initializing that drive that didn't take long at all I have, I'm pretty sure it's not going to do anything, but it, it was worth a shot. Yeah, it's nice and toasty, so um, I'll trade trace. Okay, it's very noisy right now because I, I didn't close it correctly, so it has to be pushed all the way in, otherwise it's noisy as, as yeah. Um, I've marked this one, though I have a low level formatted. Uh, it's very hard to see, but it's yellow and it says LLF, low level format, just to uh, to mark that I tried that. So we're going to try and put that in uh, spot number 33, because that spot is not replying. So we're going to take this out again. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. There. Yeah, that did absolutely nothing for us. Yeah, at the dark computer, let's see what it has come up with. We have 51 drives, you can see that over here. Two enclosures, zero backplanes, that's 
I'll put that in spot number 33. There is nothing in 33. There is 31, 32 and 35. Um, it's teasing me up in this end. It's as if the, the higher number you get to, the harder it is to find a drive that will actually pop up. It's bloody weird. I have some more two terabyte drives here. I have uh, put six drives in our drive cages. I've been messing a lot with the first draw over here. I haven't messed a lot with the second draw because I thought I wanted to get, have this one working before I uh, started filling this one up. But um, well, this one is messing with me so much that I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work on this a little bit and then maybe get back to that. But um, yeah, this video is coming to a close. But right now, drive number 12 is not responding in here. And there's only two drives that are not responding in here, number 12 and number 21. So let's try and um, replace drive number 12. Let's see what. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And we will see if we can find a drive that that blinks when we set it, put it in. Yeah, yeah, we got it. It's up and running, I'm sure. But these three are not responding, so we're gonna replace one at a time here. Put that one over here, put in the next. See if we get results. Number 22 that is. I don't think that did anything. I'll go check. So I do not believe that number 22 did anything. So, uh, and the computer did not show it. So we're gonna replace that again. Try and take another one. This gets really boring. I'll let you know how it went. I have been messing around with this on and off for the entire day. Um, I actually found out why this was lighting up orange. It um, it had a defective drive in there. <laughs> Seagate. Who would have guessed that? So um, yeah, I am throwing away a Seagate drive. Another one. Right now, I'm actually only have five empty spots for two terabyte hard drives in there. I really don't enjoy buying two terabyte hard drives. It's kind of they're too small. So I'm hoping that I can find some somewhere to finish this project. As you have seen, I've already put in some, some other drives. There is a four terabyte and a three terabyte in there. So right now there is 55 drives running in there. And if we just say that they're all two terabytes, that's 110 terabytes of uh, raw storage. Then we can add the two terabytes from the four terabyte and the one terabyte extra from three terabytes. So right now I have 113 terabytes running in the NAS. Das. Yeah, we are getting somewhere. It's bloody slow. So um, yeah, if you just happen to have some two terabytes or three to or even bigger laying around, my address is under the about tab here on YouTube. So so feel free to send me your old good hard drives so that I can complete this. But yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Remember to hit that bell thing and like the video and have a really nice day. Bye bye. Okay.